And what kind of lifestyle do you think gang members are looking for? I don't think they know what they're looking for. They just fall into something and then once you fall into it, it's kind of hard to get out of. Because once you've done somebody something, then now you've got somebody looking for you. Now you've got the police looking for you. You only feel comfortable around your friends. So you don't know about the lifestyle till you actually fall into it. It looks all glamorous. It's like, y'all want to be a gangster when you're in there. It's horrible. Nothing but negativity. That's what I'm telling you the lifestyle's about. You wake up depressed, you feel paranoid, you're always watching over your back. It's not a way to be living. You want to live free and just live and enjoy life. Not feel like, oh, I can't do this, I can't go there. A lot of people don't even leave Hansworth due it's to true. the gang violence. You understand it? Or due to getting caught up in this gang issue, that they, this is the, they don't leave Hansworth. I was in Aston Manor the other day and I was scared outside. I'm not going to lie. I'm saying, yo, I'm in the middle of Newtown. Yo, I'm standing out. Anybody could come past and say, yo, that's YT from Hansworth and try to shoot me. You know what I'm trying to say? These are the risks that I've still got in my head because of the mentality and the mindset that I had. But at the end of the day, I'm not out here for me no more. I'm out here for all the kids that could be potentially going down the footsteps that I went down. So I can't be thinking about being scared or whatever. I'm a man, you understand? And, I, and when I used to gangbang, I was willing to die for a letter and some numbers. Do you understand how trivial that is? I was willing to give my life, my life that was given to me by the Lord and my mother, I was looking to give that away for the road and a postcode and people who don't truly care about me. I was willing to die for that. So now we're doing this. It's way more easier to die for. Why did you fall into the gang lifestyle? Didn't you know the consequences such as death of your own friends, your family? When I was growing up, I was excluded from school. I was one of them kids that used to look for the gate and think, oh gosh, man, I wish I was out there. At the time, about when I was, when I was like 15, 16, my dad got sick. So when I was looking for that male role model, I found them out there on the streets. And next thing you know, I'm caught up in a lifestyle. It wasn't the decision I made, it was just my environment. I became a product of my environment. And what I was trying to say, make your environment a product of you. As a child who is put in a situation where he's targeted and, and being made out to be a gang member, do you have to understand, as soon as um, I'm known as a gang member, everyone's an enemy to me now. I grew up in a, in a society where I went to this school with a lot of great teachers, of a lot of people who, who inspired me to want to do better. You understand? And I always used to be an open spirit in school. I used to crack a lot of jokes and teachers used to love me and that. But at the end of the day, this environment and out there is two different things. You get me? I, I used to be so mad because of things that used to happen to me out there. I used to come in school and I used to be very bright and willing to do things. But you can ask any of these teachers when I lost it. I lost it. We, we're from a place where bad is normal. Now, it should not be like that, but unfortunately, that's what it is. You know, like the stereotype of like people of the police here. You think if that changed, would it help you lot as as black people? Relationships with the police definitely have to change, but they have to change the way they deal with us. There's a whole load of issues with the police that need to get sorted out, but you know what it is as well. I think we're gonna need some people from our community to do some policing. Do you understand it? And that's the problem. Because like I said, there's people that are policing us, they don't understand us. If I go, what do you mean, bruv? To you, it's just you're not going to feel away. But to some people, they're gonna, the police are going to go, oh, he's acting violent, he's going to get, get him arrested, he's asking me arrest. Next thing you know, I'm twisted up on the floor. And I'm just like, what did you mean? Well, you, you, you understand it? Like I said, there's difference in cultures and all that. There's a whole lot of issues and that with the police. But like I said, if the, if the relationships was built and made stronger, it probably could help our community, definitely. Most definitely. In Aston and Hansworth, obviously um, the gang crime members, their family have passed away and their friends. What makes you think by creating this documentary that you can make a difference? It wasn't actually the documentary that was going to make the change. The documentary was just us filming, trying to make the change. There's a whole movement. Some people have lost people and people are doing life in jail and those are older people, but I don't want none of you kids to end up in that same situation. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm passionate about. It's what our gangs are doing, that's a problem. It's the mentality and the mindset of youth, not, not, no, not no colour, youth in general. Do you know when the man's there? I, I, know, I know white people, Asian people who are on the streets who gangbang worse than I used to gangbang. Do you understand? Their pouches and gold teeth and this and that. It's not about colour, it's about mentality and, and the situation of, of in which we live in. And if we, we, we learn how, how to be civilised and how to conduct ourselves in an appropriate manner, that's when we will change ourselves as people. As I see, I see the olders and the youngers and the way you lot are doing it, you lot are deciding, yeah, we're going to allow the beef. Do you think that the youngers would follow in your footsteps? That's my point. We're going to try and show and prove, innit? I can, I can bring you to the water. I can't force you to drink it, though. You understand it, bro? So I can show you this is it, innit? 
This is this is what I can tell you. This is you're gonna end up. In, I've end up in jail. You're gonna end up dead, or you're gonna end up in a bad situation. But it don't just affect you. It's gonna affect your mom. It's gonna affect your family. It's gonna affect everybody around you and other people. Do you understand it? So it's a very selfish choice, the decision to make to become a criminal. And this is what it is. It's a counteraction. Now everything that these people put out there to get these little kids gassed up, I have to put my hands up. I used to be a part of it as well. Majority of people who listen to hip hop have watched my rap attack on Grime Blog and talking about. Um, violence and firearms and I have to admit that my music and what I used to put out there did have an effect on how you kids act. The way I used to dress, they're a walking reflection of me and they're a walking reflection of my actions and this is why me now who's known by all these kids, I wear suits every day because this is what I want children to be inspired to. I don't need to run up and down in pouch and gloves and car. I tried to, to, do, to do that and, it, and jail and prison was the outcome. You do this, you'll keep out of jail, you'll keep out of prison, you don't want to be there, it's not nice. And that's what it is. What made you stop one to being involved in the gang violence? I got friends that are dead because of this gang violence. I got friends doing life in prison because of this gang stuff. So, it's, and I can see all the little kids getting enticed by it. So somebody has to say something to you because I know nobody else ain't telling you it's wrong. The, the, the realization of, of the other side who, who I was trained like a dog to make believe that th th these people were my enemy. And then I realized at the end of the day, th these people are just like me. We, seem, we share the same trials and tribulations. So I know what I'm doing is right. And I know ignorance, it's easy to be ignorant and it takes a man to do something right and, and follow that through, you understand? So don't ever get overtaken by ignorance, it's not good. It's followers and leaders, isn't it? Why are you? You don't want to be following somebody that's taking you on the wrong path and it's to follow your own heart and what's what you feel is right, isn't it? How have other gang members reacted for you like making this m movie? Some, when people first heard about it, I got my mother's window smashed out. People are coming to terms with it now, but a lot of people, me first thought, did not like it. But I understand where they're coming from because I come from these streets, so I've lost what they've lost. Like, so one of the, some of these guys killed my friend, you understand it? Like, but at the same time, it's wrong, innit? And what's wrong is wrong. We can't keep pushing the negative messages to you, man, coming up. A lot of people don't like it, but I'm still going to do me at the end of the day, innit? Because I have to sleep and live with myself, innit? In Birmingham, Handsworth is one of the places known as the bad place. Like, this is where all the crime takes place. But what do you think, as community members, we can do to kind of change that, to change the way people think about us? To, to campaign, is, is, is that, that's one of the most powerfulest ways to get your message across, especially as young people. You can be young voices for your own community. You're sitting there now, you can be a role model. You understand? Every person in this room can be a role model just by what they're willing to give. You understand? Just by the, the passion and the drive that you have. Now, I'm working at a youth centre at the moment and I'm working with a group of five, of five girls. And one of the black girls told me, Why, T, I hate when I go in shops, you know, because all the teachers or all the shopkeepers just keep looking at me like I'm going to rob certain and rare, rare, rare. So now she's in the process of making a see through bag with, 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 with a cartoon picture with someone stealing and writing at the bottom saying, I am not a thief. Now, I love the idea, so we're designing the bag for her now and she's going to campaign that. You lot can do whatever you want to do, just do it right. Me personally, I think Hansa is a beautiful place and it's not the, one of the worst places in Birmingham. It's just the name that is had due to a handful of people. Do you understand it? Because the violent crime, it's not a bad place. Do you, do you, truthfully, when you go out there, do you see bad stuff happening? <laughs> it's okay, isn't it? It's only for a majority. Like I said, it's the choices you make, you know. So it's not really a bad place. It's just a, a, a minority of people make bad decisions and that's what happens. It gets the whole area gets a bad name. And, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.